Hello, I thought I'd come on here and answer a few questions. This is the Real American Show. For real Americans like this one here and like those out there. But in spirit, you could be from the UK or anywhere in Europe or anywhere else. It's just the spirit it counts. So, what I would like to uh, address is somebody sent me to my email which is jwdurbin at outlook.com they sent me a clip a voice clip I can't play it on here because I haven't figured that out they asked me uh, anyways it's from somebody called sticks breaker sticks like the band s-t-y-x they asked me uh what do you think of uh, the resurgence of uh, cassette tape? They have noticed that there's a lot of uh, uh, releases on cassette. Vintage uh, movie soundtracks. Some, some bands are putting their stuff back out on cassette. Famously, uh, Journey's uh, last album from like, like two years ago. Uh, named Freedom got a cassette release so what do I think of cassettes uh, I had been a cassette collector all the way up to about 1995 and I still have a handful of cassettes but I don't think it's a very durable medium the sound quality is poor these new releases on cassette are way too high for the quality you're getting. It's like a novelty now. You're better off e either getting a, a digital download, a CD, or a vinyl. The vinyl uh, these days sounds so much better. But they're, they come at a cost too. They're a lot higher than a CD. Your best uh, thing is if you could get a, a vinyl that comes with a digital version of the album you get the best of both worlds there but as far as cassettes go I can't see myself reinvesting into the cassette craze that's going on because the entry cost is too high and the players are a far cry from the quality of the ones we used to get in the uh, 70s, 80s, and 90s. So I'm skipping that. But uh, if you really like cassettes, there's definitely a lot for you to choose from now. Another question I got was uh, somebody said you are faking being country a hillbilly do I have to fake uh, being a redneck when I wear tape on my glasses and I have an accent that I try to get away from I may be from the Cincinnati Ohio area but that's uh, close enough to southern for me. Another thing I got. This is probably a sensitive issue to talk about. So I will, I will try to use words that are, aren't really descriptive. Country's biggest artist of all time. That uh, Garth Brooks has a controversy right now one of inappropriate behavior so somebody had asked me they want to stay anonymous do you believe these uh, charges well I like to keep the opinion to myself because everybody deserves he deserves his justice and the accuser deserves their justice so my opinion don't make sense uh, to have on it. 
I would like for it to be just another case of uh, of um, like uh, love love making regret where where he promised somebody uh, something and they didn't get it so so they uh, decide to go after him but that's probably not even the cause here so I'll let the court decide that and keep my opinion mostly to myself somebody also asked me they're like uh, what country musicians past or present do you think deserve more respect I was like uh, first ones that come off hand to me is uh, like Mark Chestnut he had a good stretch there for a while also uh, Doug Stone he he brought like a almost like a crooner type uh, back to the country in the 90s there's not too many others though my most respected country musician is Raul Mallo. If you don't know who Raul Mallo is and you listen to country music, I will not tell you what band he is in. He is struggling with a major health crisis right now that is his business and not mine. But I wish him a speedy recovery and remission in it. So I look forward to um, future Raul Mallow uh, music if that is possible in the future. Okay, another question I got is um, do you think that uh, the rap artist Shane Vozar will ever release a country album? That's really a tricky situation because uh, I don't know if he has country in him. He's from like uh, Branson, Missouri, but he's technically, I guess, a California transplant from there. But uh, I don't think he, I don't think there's anything that keep that country boy alive in the industry if he tried to uh, make waves in the bluegrass field of country. So I'd say he should stick with what he knows, that uh, rapid fire rap. I mean, not many people do rap that catches my ear more than Shane Vozar. So I would implore him to keep on doing it. Keep on keeping on. And uh, so... I think that's about all for right now, but remember, if you want me to answer some of your questions, uh, email me at jwdurbin at outlook.com. You can send me an audio file, and I will try to read it off. If I figure out how to play it, I will play it. But there's that option or um, anything you want to email me. You know, I want to keep this uh, music show fairly clean so I can't read off uh, too many redneck jokes. So, so again, thanks for tuning in to my country music show and I hope to do more episodes. There's too much room in heaven. Not enough angels to watch over us from above Too much fussing and fighting And very little thing called love There's too much room in heaven Cause this world's gone to rot So much hate and discontent The birdie beats about full That's a Kmart parking lot Hey y'all, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, and pass this to your friends. Until then, happy trails.